I see ingredients. I see a nose. I see two noses. What are we going to make, girls? Today, we're going to make some Easter carrot dog cookies. Right? Easter carrot dog cookies. Sound good? Sound good to you? All right, let's show them how to make them. First thing you need to do, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. All right, let's get cooking. Time to make some treats. Remember, as always, the recipe for the treats is in the video description down below. So if you just want to read the recipe and need all the ingredients first, they're in the video description. First thing, two cups of dog food powder. This is actually just two cups of their dog food that I put in the food processor and turned into dog food dirt. Want some dog food dirt? Oakley. Want some dog food dirt? <laughs> Second thing, two cups of grated carrots. You can put these in the food processor and make them really fine or you can just chop them up. I just chopped mine up. Next, half a cup of plain yogurt. Ooh, I like yogurt, don't ya? You got it on your whiskers. Two small jars of beef baby food. tongue right in there, huh, Shelby? Here, Oakley. Get your tongue right in there. <laughs> now stir this together. Once you have that stirred together, you can slowly start adding your flour. You may not need all of it, so just add a little bit at a time. We're trying to make it to a dough-like consistency. It's gonna make you sneeze. That's about what your dough should look like. It's gonna be a chunky dough, so it's gonna be a little bit interesting when we form it into shapes, but Jamie and I just did a test. Looks like it'll work. Want some raw dough? Hmm, want some raw dough? What do you think, Oakley? Want some? Jamie's coming to do the hard part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause he's good at it, huh, Oakley? Look at how good he is. Well, we'll see. We want to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. A bunny. Look at me, I'm a bunny. It's going to be a little bit hard to cut through because of the carrot. Yeah, if you made your carrots like I did and you made them thicker, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to cut. But they should still work. And... <laughs> How do you get it out of there? Crumple them a little bit. That's actually mm -hmm. a little thick. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. Go a little bit thicker. I'll put him right back in there. Smush him. All right, I think we got it there. Try again. I hear the carrots cracking. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the leftovers that are falling on the floor? Are you getting leftovers that are falling on the floor? Well, you are not. Oh, what was that? You get some too? Jamie's rolling out more dough. Sorry, Shelby. We got one pan full. We're moving on to the next pan. All right, we got two trays done. Now we got to pop them in the oven for 20 minutes. So you got to wait 20 minutes for them to come out, Oakley, and then you got to wait until they cool before you can actually eat one. You too, Shelby. You too. A lot of you guys ask in the videos what we use for frosting for our cookies. We use these candy melts, not the chocolate ones, the white ones, the vanilla ones. They don't have any cocoa in them. And don't use a lot because they are made with sugar. That's why we usually just sprinkle them on the cookies. Just gives it a little bit of color. Not something you have to do, but if you want to, you can. Alright, see, and we took them little candy melts and we melted them and we're going to draw on some of these cookies. Maybe. You need a paintbrush. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder if dipping. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oops, wrong end. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint an egg. Alright, I'm going to paint an egg. Yeah. I'm going to make a carrot. 
You can dip them too. Well, I don't want them on the bottom side, so I'm just going to put a little dose on the top. I'm not actually going to put very much. No, you just need to put a little bit. So we were going to only decorate a couple and then Jamie and I were having too much fun. So we decorated a whole bunch. So there's a whole bunch of decorated cookies and carrots and little bunny faces. Eggs. I, Eggs. I gotta try one. Okay. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. And it's a carob. There's no carob Or not in it. carob. It's, it's just carrot. a yep, carrot. Yep, Easter carrot treat. You look blue because of the light outside. You're a blue man. It's technically really blue outside. Yeah, I noticed that too. But back to the cookie. Just like every other dog treat we make. Imagine that. <laughs> Need sugar? <laughs> Tastes like a dog treat. <laughs> uh, Are you waiting to try one? Do you want one, Oakley? Look, this one's got your name on it. What do you think? Let's see what you, you want think. You want that? Oh, it's very oh, nice. Oh, good girl. Yeah, it's very nice. What do you think? You gotta come up here if you want one, Shelby. Come here, Shelby. Come here. And this one's for you, Shelby. You want that? What do you think? Is that good? I didn't know Shelby would like them because Shelby sometimes doesn't like carrots. She ate it. They're winning cookies. All right, no more till Easter. All right, let's eat the rest. Yum, 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 yum. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let us know if you tried making these for your dogs. Happy Easter, you guys.